everyone welcome to my channel thank you so much for tuning in uh y'all i'm getting ready to fix me um well bake some trout here i have some sea trout that i'm getting ready to season and i'm going to bake it i've been seeing this around on facebook and tiktok so stay tuned y'all i got to charge my battery okay y'all i am back um so what you are seeing here you see some sea trout that i've got today i felt like that i wanted fish today so um i'm going to do it like i have been seeing it on youtube i'm going to bake this instead of frying it so i do have the heads on which i am not going to either bother the head because i don't like the head so they're already cleaned and i wanted it whole so I'm going to do it how, um, well, some people that I have watched on YouTube prepare it. Okay, now this sauce here, I kind of blend it up. And I'm going to show y'all what I use to um, blend this. Um, I've used spinach. I've used the um, butter garlic. I use tomatoes. I've used onions and basil, garlic salt. I've added some accent um, seasoning, lemon pepper seasoning. Old Bay seasoning, smoked paprika, then I've used the ground red pepper, lime juice, ginger, paste ginger, the Paris ginger, and then I use a little of the chicken bouillon. And I think that's all I've used to make up this, you know, this paste uh, seasoning. So, what I'm going to do, and it smells good, y'all. This is how it's looking. I'm going to pour it on my sea trout. I'm going to try to pour it on both sides and use on the inside as well. And turn it over. You can either let this stay on for about 30 minutes, let it marinate, but I'm not, I'm not going to let it marinate. This is seasoning, so I'm just going to cook it like this, and I'm going to put the rest of this in a um, mason jar, because you can always use the extra. So I'm going to set this aside. I have my aluminum foil. Let me go ahead and set my oven. Bake 350. I don't know for how many minutes. I really don't. All right. Um, 
I already got my onions chopped. I think I cut my onions the wrong way, y'all. Hold on. Okay, have some onions. Put some on the inside. Then I have some pepper onion blend. It's going to be good, y'all. I can smell it. Then I'm going to add some um, steak house fries on it. Spread like that. This should be enough aluminum foil. Then I'm going to place it over in this here because I don't want no type of juice spilling on inside my oven. I don't want no type of juice spilling over in my oven. So I'm going to leave a little opening so that the heat can get on the inside. to do the same with the other one. Okay. Do the same. Go ahead and stuff with the peppers, onions. Y'all, this is the last uh, Sunday of Black History. And I forgot to add some accents, y'all. Wake up the flavor. Seem like I'm missing something. I'm missing something. I'm missing something. Oh. My fries. Some fries, fries, fries. It's 
steak fries. Okay, y'all. I don't know how long I'm going to bake this for. So, I'm going to set it for at least 30 minutes. And then come back and check on it. And I shall return. Okay, everyone. I've gotten my fish out of the oven. And it is done. I cooked it uh, for about one hour. The first 30 minutes, I set the oven to 350. And the second 30 minutes it wasn't quite done so I set it at 400 degrees for another 30 minutes so it is done y'all let me try this and see how it tastes all right you guys I have the fish uh, let me open it up show y'all y'all it's looking really good too Trout. Oh, I gotta get my hot sauce. Okay, y'all, this is not a mukbang. So I'm just showing y'all what I cooked and I'm going to taste it in front of you all. I have my coleslaw, I have the uh, trout here, I have some garlic bread that I made, and I have some lemon, which I'm going to pour the lemon juice on my fish. I have hot sauce, and then I have 7 up. So let's try this, y'all. My hot sauce, and then I'm going to sprinkle on some lemon juice. So first, let me say my grace. Amen. We have to watch out for bones too. Mm. Y'all, this is good. It is good. Mm. I got fries over in here. Well, you saw how I made it. Mm. Oh, y'all, y'all guys, y'all get trapped. You got to watch out for the bones. Mm, mm. Y'all mukbangers, I can see why you have to have a table so that you can show your food. So you show sure cannot eat it sitting down low. Nobody can't see your food. This is not a mukbang video, y'all.
Mm. I even forgot to do a thumbnail. And that seasoning that I made earlier and I coated the fish with, it makes a big difference in the taste. Mmm. So delicious. <clears throat> so delicious. Yeah, I can see that. Try to be careful with the bones. But this trout is good, y'all. But it just has a lot of bones in it. Y'all, if you have not subscribed, mm, you guys, if you have not, um, you guys, if you're watching this video, please consider on subscribing. If you have not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. I do. Pretty much everything over here not just only eating i do other things on this channel 
So please consider on subscribing. I would love to have you guys over here. So I'm not going to eat um, all this fish because I do get full quick. I get full quick. That blend that I made made a whole lot of difference in how your food tastes. Mm. Yeah, I'm getting full already. So, um, I'm going to put this away and then come back and eat it later because I am getting full. And plus, I have another video to try to um, get out the way. I have a car haul. I have a haul coming up um, from Ross and Home Goods. So, I had to go to another city. Not another state, but another city, which is an hour away, to Home Goods. So next to Home Goods, there's a Ross. So me and my mom, me and my mom went on yesterday, which was Saturday. Saturday. So today is um, February 24th. So yes, we went yesterday. We got a whole well some things. So I will share that with y'all on the next video. So you guys, the fish was good. There's a whole lot more left. And then the other fish that I have over there, I'm going to take a work. I'm going to take it to work with me tomorrow. Um, so you guys, hit the notification bell button so that you will not miss out on any of my videos. Please come back because you never know what I may have next for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.